Pete's Dragon has flown into cinemas here and while Pete is the lead, Elliot is the star. And once again, we have Weta Digital to thank. Here's Kate Roger. When Hollywood wants a dragon, they know which cave to knock on. The Weta Cave, of course. And when it comes to the visual FX dragon world, the one man to rule them all is this man. Eric Sandin came to New Zealand from the US to work on Lord of the Rings. He never went back. He's the man behind this guy and this guy. Real enough to scare us senseless, it's his job to sell us fantastical creatures. And his latest casting, Elliot, was his most challenging yet. Rumour has it dragons aren't real. We put out a casting call, but... No Nothing. Mm. So they're both dragons, but how different are Smaug and Elliot? About as far apart as you could get. <laughs> um, you have to be scared of Smaug and, and your part doesn't, it doesn't work without you being scared of him. Yeah. Whereas Elliot, if you don't feel for Elliot and cry when he's sad and feel the emotion between Elliot and Pete, then that doesn't work either. Watching the evolution of Elliot from Eric's imagination to the big screen by way of world-leading visual effects is staggering. And when you see him in all his 3D glory on the big screen, and you must, you will see what a triumph he really is. We got about 600 shots in this film. Um, each shot probably takes six weeks to work on. Each frame is about two days to render. 24 frames per second, and each shot being 100, 200 frames. Yep, my head just exploded too. My school C maths calculates that at about 50 million hours to bring Elliot to life. He's worth every single second of it too. Pete's Dragon has just opened here. Kate Roger, News Hub.